Here's how I solved Dan's ceiling fan problem. First thing I did was I downloaded the fan video and played it and used this time to figure out how fast the fan was moving before Dan pulled the chain. So I counted several rotations, figured out how much time had elapsed, and got an angular speed before he pulls the chain. Then, once he pulls the chain, I wound up advancing the video frame by frame and looking at when the large ceiling fan, I have to back up for a second, sorry. So when that large fan blade right here, when it crosses the white line, and then recorded the time, so that would be zero, and then Dan had pulled the chain, and figure out how much time elapsed by the time it gets all the way back around to the white line, and then boom. Okay, one full rotation, 0.7 seconds. And I did it again for two rotations, three rotations, etc. Then I went to Logger Pro and plotted the rotation number and the time that it took, the time elapsed to get to each rotation number. And then I multiplied the rotations by 2 pi to get uh, radians for the angular displacement of the fan blade. And I made a graph. And we've got uh, this nice curve. But, the, uh, but it depends on air resistance. So if you try to fit a regular quadratic to this, it looks kind of nice, but you can see that some of the data at the end doesn't fit very well, and some of the data at the beginning doesn't fit very well either. Uh, and we know that air resistance is going to be a significant factor, so even if this model works in this region, it's going to break down really, really rapidly. So what I wound up doing was writing this little Python program to figure out uh, how the fan blade would change position over time based on air resistance as a factor. So the physics part happens right in this section. And what this is saying is that we have some air resistance deceleration, which is due to a constant B, which depends on the size of the blades, the air temperature, the air density, uh, and the speed of the fan. So this, the instantaneous speed of the fan determines this instantaneous air resistance deceleration. Uh, and knowing how to calculate B from all the dimensions, we don't need to worry about that. I just need to make sure that my model has a value of B so that the model fits the data. I don't have to actually figure out by hand, based on air temperature and stuff like that, what the B would be. Uh, and then here is the net acceleration, which is has two components. It has the frictional component, which is a constant, and this the air resistance component, that which we said before, was dependent upon the speed squared and this uh, B coefficient. And then now that we have this net air resistance, I'm sorry, this net acceleration, deceleration, we can figure out how much the, the, the fan slows down in a small amount of time. If we assume that that deceleration is constant for a small amount of time, I can figure out how much less, how much slower the fan is going to be spinning. So that's where this part comes in. We have this alpha net times delta t. That's going to tell us the small change in the velocity. Subtract that from the original velocity, and that's going to give us a new slower velocity. Then I can use that new slower velocity and figure out how much the fan is going to rotate in a small amount of time at that new slower velocity. So that new slower velocity times dt gives me how much the fan blade rotates in that small time. Add that to the starting position of the fan blade and that's going to give me my new position where the fan blade is going to be in a small time later. And then it goes back to the beginning and it double checks to see if the angular speed is greater than zero, and which means it's moving. So if it's still moving, then continue these segments again. And now it calculates the air resistance again. But remember, the air resistance is now a little bit smaller than before because we have this new velocity because it's slowed down. And then it takes that new component for air resistance, figures out the new net air resistance, and then from that figures out how much slowdown there's going to be, subtract that from the speed from before, and now I get a, a slightly slower speed. And then use that slightly slower speed to figure out how much the fan blade is going to rotate 
multiply add that to the position of the fan and then get a slightly new position and it's going to keep going through that going through that and going through that so that's the model and it's it's fairly simple it's called numerical integration uh, to actually solve it analytically would kind of be a nightmare so we're using these uh, the computer to uh, like grind through it um, but it can grind through it really rapidly so I don't have to worry about grinding through a little step by step by hand uh, but the big problem was figuring out what this alpha friction was and what the B constant was because the only thing that Dan showed us was So what we have to worry about, is we have to figure out what B and alpha friction are based on the data in the movie. So that means I have to go back to Logger Pro. And the net acceleration is constantly changing. But I can do a quadratic fit just on the beginning and get a approximate net acceleration at the beginning. And the a term in the quadratic is half of the net acceleration. So for this case, the net acceleration is going to be around 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. And then at the beginning, I could do another quadratic fit, and we can get another net acceleration at the end. And the net acceleration at the end is going to be about 0.12, negative 0.12. And based on that, I'm almost there. I also need to know how fast, whoops, I need to know how fast it's going at the beginning. And I can use, there's the slope tool in Logger Pro. And it can get me, it tries to approximate the instantaneous slope at the data points. So in the beginning, oh, I also know that in the beginning the fan blade was going 9.4 radians per second uh, originally from taking the data from before, when, before Dan pulled the chain. And then here at the end, you can see that the slope is around 3.3-ish. It starts off at 3.5. It goes down to about 3.0. So I said, ah, ballpark 3.3 radians per second. And now that I have that, I was able to go to Wolfram Alpha and write two simultaneous equations. The first one is the net acceleration at the beginning equals whatever the unknown uh, frictional acceleration is plus the B coefficient times omega at the beginning squared. So that was 9.4. Uh, and then let's look a little bit later at the end of the video when the net acceleration was only about 1.2 and what must be the frictional acceleration because that isn't going to change and what is the B constant in the air resistance term that's not going to change times the speed at that instant at the end which was about 3.3 squared so with the two equations to unknown Wolfram Alpha cranks through and gives me an A of approximately 0.07 and a B of approximately 0 0.005. So I just go back into Python, and this was about 0 0.07, and this is about 0 0.005, according to the equation solver. So now I can run the module. And there we go. The yellow points are the data points from the video. The blue is the points from the model, and you see we have a nice fit at the beginning, but at the end, not so much. So with a little bit of trial and error and tweaking, I was able to, oh, and this right here says the fan blade would stop in 63 seconds, but we know that that's not going to work because the model doesn't fit the data. So with a little bit of tweaking, I found that with a frictional value of 0.04 and a B value of 0.007, that the model matches the data really nicely. And you can see that the yellow data here is really, really lined up with the blue model. And assuming that that holds all the way out, 
it ends uh, right around 80 seconds. And looking at what the computer spits out, it says that it ended at 78.9 seconds, which matches pretty nicely with what Dan had calculated, which was um, a little bit over 80. I think I get 82 uh, from watching the timer on, on his video. So worked out pretty nice. Thanks for watching.